What's up guys, Rich here, and um, welcome to a Roblox video. <laughs> oh goodness. Dragon Ball Online Generations is kind of like a, you know, it's a Dragon Ball Z game, but it's a free roam, it's a character, you know, grinding, character building. That's what I always love about Dragon Ball Z games, like, you're able to create your own character, you're able to, for the most part, push your limits or not have really any limits as long as you keep training and stuff like that. And in some real games, they're not as good, but in Roblox, it's like endless creativity so okay loading into dragon ball online generations here we're gonna choose our character because i don't even remember which characters i have to be honest um i guess we're just gonna we can just choose a random one because i'm pretty sure i have two of the same character just go with this one i guess the 4 480 i don't i don't know oh this is my like celestial kai character oh yeah he's actually pretty cool right here Look at that war. I'm pretty sure I had a character that was like a Bojack, but I like grabbed, you know, seven Dragon Balls and kind of like switched my character, which you can do. It's so cool, but it's such a grind. So if this isn't Bojack, this has to be like a Frieza character because I'm a thousand percent. Wait, I have another Frieza character. Okay, yeah, so I have this Frieza character, and then I'm pretty sure that I have like a pure, like golden freezer character yeah ignore all the fighting in the background people like to just fight and spar a lot and that's kind of one of the things it's like it's like jesus christ look at this it's like, just straight fighting so again right now we're in the i'm pr pretty sure we're in afterlife so hey okay let me transform the cooler real quick um this is my strongest transformation by the way so but i'm trying to Trying to go fight Elder Kai on video. It's, it's one of the Elder Kai, you know. Go fight Elder Kai, and um, it's pretty cool. It's actually really cool. So I, I think I go. Oh yeah, that's right. I go into the planet. That's, I'm silly. Listen, old man. We've been here before. Oh my God, this aura is dope. But we've been here before. All right, old man. Time to fight. Oh, the fight combination is actually pretty cool. Really pretty really cool. Yeah, sometimes he does work on your behind, sometimes it's kind of like... Oh, okay, so here he just resets, so... Start again. Come here, boy. Oh my goodness. He is a tank. I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember. Oh my god, get up. How did that... Oh, that blast rate is just stupid. Sit down, what you thought this was? Alright, so we switched to our Golden Freezer character. Look at these stats. See, this is my main character. I think this character used to be my Bojack character as well. So, before I did like a uh, switch, I switched my character uh, using the Dragon Balls. Um, but yeah, so this is what I meant. Like Golden Freezer, I tried to make it as realistic as Golden Freezer as possible because, well, he's not in the game. And uh, I guess I'll explain that in a little. Oh god. Ooh. Yeah, power up, boy. Yeah. Y'all jealous, ain't you? Y'all hate me. This is so cool. What y'all gonna do? Try and jump me? Okay, so... Dragon Ball Online Generations, or D-Bog for short, I believe is a pretty top-tier Dragon Ball Z game for Roblox, right? I don't want to get that confused or mis... Like, I don't want anybody to be confused on that part. It also has the best fight mechanics in Roblox. Uh, meaning like for example when I play this game compared to let's say competitors of D-Bog um, Dragon Ball uh, I think it's Dragon Blocks Ultimate I think it's Dragon Ball Z Rage those are my two main competitors right now for this game um, just for feel wise and, and the fight you know fight mechanics um, D-Bog Dragon Ball Online Generations takes the cake yes I feel like smoothly I feel like realistically I feel like my punches are landing in D-Bog yes I give D-Bog that credit as well but and there's a huge but. The difference, let's say, for example, the difference with D-Bog's fighting mechanics compared to these other games is far less from the difference of these other games having all these custom transformations and abilities and bosses to fight. Or at least in Dragon Blocks Ultimate, because that's probably my favorite one um, compared to this one. What I mean is that in D-Bog, 
it takes a lot. And I'm not saying, like, I understand Sonny, you know, I understand he has a team, he has a process to create a deep ball. And I, I understand it's going to take a long time. I understand that. But debug I just think that my niche is that I don't want to be limited right I understand that you create balance in the game you don't want somebody too powerful etc etc right so I understand that and I understand why there aren't power creeps where people are creeping you know farther than others like I just feel like I wish there were more you know, kind of in-game things. Because in Dragon Ball Z game, I want to feel like I can get as strong, as powerful, as I can be the most powerful in the world, whatever, right? And I understand that he has to limit that because it is a PvP game and he doesn't want people just constantly getting crapped on, you know, be like new players and things like that. So here's how, here's my whole regards to that. I feel like there should be more in-game, more ways for me to be endlessly strong, you know, endlessly, you know, powerful i don't want to i don't want to feel limited i know dragon ball you can wish for the uh 50 skill points five times that's limited though after five times you're done and i've already done it like three or four on the character i know that you can get one skill point a day from the elder kai but you gotta understand i don't play every day so i can you know it's just things of that nature i want to feel i want to feel very powerful i want to feel endlessly powerful right and so my whole thing is with debug is that there's a lack of transformations because in real life in Dragon Ball and manga, you know, I said manga and manga, um, we're already what well, we're in Ultra Ego State, we're in um Master Ultra Instinct, we're in Black Frieza, in movie, you know, you have Gohan Beast now that just came out, uh, Orange Piccolo, and and even in Super you have Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God before Super Saiyan Blue, uh, you know, Omen, like it, it's so many things, right? Blue Evolution, like. It's so many things um, that for me, I feel like this game, if they had it in this, would just explode. This game would be amazing, right? Um, I don't know if there's a Jiren character. I have to check that again, but that would be a cool feature. But I feel like the most important thing that I'll always like lean on for this game, importantly, is that when I'm a new player, when I was a new player, I was getting like crapped on and beat up on by high level, like annoying players who just want to troll. And I just want to have my own, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing on console, so I don't have a, I don't have access to a private server. I just want to play and mind my business. So I do think that there should be a PVP switch. And what I mean by that is they should have, new players should have a PVP switch, whether it's on or off. And I think all new players, like when they're first coming into the game, should have their PVP switch off. Meaning that player versus player cannot happen. And that they can't be attacked or attacked other players with that PvP switch off. It's only AI. Meaning, you're not going to get just randomly dropped off and killed, you know what I'm saying, in a lobby that you just joined. You're level 2 and there's 5 level 500s around you. They can't just merciful, you know, merciful, merciful kill, like just kill you. They can't just kill you. Like that, that, I can see how that gets annoying. I know a lot of my friends playing, I try to get them into the game, and they're new players, and I'm trying to protect them from three, four different dudes while they're just shooting one blast and they're dying. So I understand the power difference, and I understand why he hasn't taken the power to an extreme level where you could just break the game because of instances like this. But I do feel like there should be a PvP switch. I just 100%, in my personal opinion, the ability to be like, I'm level 500, obviously, on some of my characters. I don't want to have to deal with fighting people. Sometimes I just want to run through my stories or help my friends. So, yes, I'm going to turn my PvP switch off. I'm not always trying to constantly fight people. If I wanted to fight people, I would go into the tournaments that he set up and, and things of that nature. Like, So, I feel like that has to be... That's a number one for me. Before anything else, that I feel like that has to be a number one because I have people and I have friends who want to get into the game and they can't, you know? So, I hopefully, hopefully he sees this. I don't, I don't know. I, I just want this game. This game has the best fight mechanics in Roblox, Dragon Ball Z game wise. So, I just, I really hope that we get some new transformations, um, some new training activities to help with, you know, max level players. I want to get more skill points. I want to be more powerful. And I want a PvP switch so you can toggle it on or off. 
and I just feel like you can clean up the game a lot, and and people aren't just killing each other for no reason or killing low levels. You know what I'm saying? Like a low 500 just run in and kill all these low levels with one shot. Like that's so unfair to the low levels who are trying to actually get into your game. And if you want new players to get into your game, it's not going to appeal to the new player if they're constantly getting destroyed. So that's just that's just where my mind sits. You know, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be helpful. You see this game has 100,000 likes. This game is literally legit. And I, I appreciate it. And I enjoy it. And I want to play it even more. But I've been catching myself playing Dragon Blocks Ultimate more. Mainly because there's no there's no limits. I can constantly train and train and train. And I also have the ability. And it makes it easier to run away from these guys. So, like, I, I you can have high agility in Dragon Blocks Ultimate. Dragon Blocks Ultimate also has... You also have a base form... And then your base form, you can become powerful. So meaning, your base form, you can be pretty powerful, pretty strong. And obviously, when you transform, it times that by however many. But I like being able to base form fight. Like, if I'm in base form, I want to hang, you know, warm up in base form, land some shots. And I want to be able to hang in base form instead of just having to constantly, oh, transform to my max. Because in Dragon Ball Z, that's never what it's been about. It's never been about transform to your max. It's always been a build up. So to make it more realistic. So that's why I kind of played... I kind of lean, I lean towards Dragon Blocks Ultimate a little bit more, right? And it's not a disrespect thing. d is a great game, and I've played the hell out of the game. But it's just, you know, I I just lean towards Ultimate a little bit more. So uh, I hope he takes these things into consideration. Um, great game you have here. I still play the game. Don't get it twisted. I still come in here and play the game. I got to get some Dragon Balls. The Dragon Ball grind is kind of tough, but um, I got to get some Dragon Balls. Um to, to reset I'm, I'm gonna switch my character back I might I might go sand who knows but me and Reggie talked about doing a series for this game so we'll see if we can do it um I don't know if it'll be in this 30 day period to be honest because it's been yeah but uh hope you guys enjoyed it's being boy rich sorry for the long rant and um I'll see you guys tomorrow